Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see GitLab CI/CD pipeline to set up and deploy Python Django project with PostgreSQL database. Over here, all the tasks will be done automatically with the help of shell script file without any manual intervention. For this purpose, we will need to write a shell script file which will check all the required components has been installed or not and if any of the components has not been installed it will install and set up them automatically so let's see that at present i am in the root directory of my project over here i have one folder called uh, demo it is a python django project then this cicd.sh is a normal shell script file just to show you the content it just write present working directory to a dot text file then i have this dot git ignore file which we will need to stop pushing the virtual environment to gitlab repository to show its content okay so you can see that i have excluded virtual environment to be pushed to gitlab repository and finally we have this dot gitlab dash ci dot yml file so it will be the ci cd pipeline for this project and its content is over here you can see that uh, we have two stages one is test and another one is deploy test stage and uh, deploy stage so this is a first job test underscore stage you can give any job name over here not mandatory to give uh, something which is related to stages or anything else so you can give any name over here so i have given test underscore stage job name its stage will be test tags linux os which means i want to carry out this ci cd pipeline through linux os gitlab runner so this gitlab runner will have tag name as linux os and the script that i want to execute is echo hello world next is next job is deployment underscore stage so again you can give any job name over here i have given deployment underscore stage the stage will be deploy tags linux os so again i want to execute this job with the help of gitlab runner having tag name is linux os and the script that i want to execute under this job is cell script dot sh so we will see this script in a while so this is how my ci cd pipeline will look like for this project and finally i have this cell script dot sh file so let's see that so as you might aware that uh, any cell script file will start with the shebang and over here we have bash shell bin bash shell first we will check if postgresql database has been installed or not here this dev null is a null file where we are directing all our output and errors so any output any error everything will be written to this null file with this command so if postgresql database has been installed then this psql dash v command will give some output it will provide the version of the database and if not then there will be no output from this command next this dollar question mark command will provide the result that whatever the very last command that we have run was successfully executed or not so in our case psql dash v command was the last command that we have executed so if dollar question mark will provide output as zero which means the last command was successfully executed and if dollar question mark command provide any other digit except zero then the last command that was executed was not successful so in this case if psql dash v has provided any version of postgresql database then this dollar question mark will provide zero as output 
and in that case we can conclude that postgre sql database has been installed and in case psql v does not provide any output in that case dollar question mark command will provide any other digit except zero and in that case we need to install the database over here uh, this is a environment variable password that i have set up so uh, i can pass it to the sudo command now uh, why i have set up this environment variable because it will be helpful from the perspective of safety and security and no one will be able to know the actual password of the system and another thing to note over here is this password will be gitlab runner users password this password will not be of the system so there might be chances that system password will be different from gitlab runner user password and both system and gitlab runner user have the same password so over here you need to set up an environment variable where you will provide gitlab runner users password in a while i will show you how to set up an environment variable and how to set up gitlab runner user password so it present by this command i will provide output of password environment variable to sudo command and then it will install the postgresql database next we will check if root user and root database has been set up or not now why do we need to do that because whenever for postgresql database we use sudo command it will first go to check if root user and root database has been set up or not if root user and root database has not been set up then it will provide an error and further execution of the code will be stopped so to prevent that first we will check if root database and root user has been set up or not so again same thing first i will get the password environment variable and its value then i will pass it to the sudo dash s command and then i will run psql dash c slash l so this command will list all the database that has been installed under postgresql and then i will check if root db is there in the name is there in the list of the names or not if not i need to install the root database next i will check if root user has been set up or not so uh, again this command psql dash c slash tu will provide list of users and then we will check if root user is there in the list or not if not i need to install sorry i need to set up the root user so every time we will check by this dollar question mark command that whatever the very last command was executed though it was successful or not if not we need to uh, plan accordingly and if it was successful we need to plan accordingly now next we will check the actual database that will be required for our python django project so in my case the database name will be demo and the username will be demo so again i will check if demo database exist or not if not i need to create and same way if demo user exist or not if not i need to create demo user then i need to provide the password and then i need to grant all the privileges on demo database to demo user once this database related setup has been completed we will check virtual env package has been installed or not because this virtual env package we are going to use to create virtual environment for the python so again uh, if virtual environment has been installed then no need to do anything but if not then again we need to install this package by this command over here dash y means we don't need to provide any input to install any packages we are providing our consent to install whatever the package is required for this virtual environment next i will check this postgresql server dev all package has been installed or not why this package will be required because when we want to install psycho pg2 package of python in that case it will ask to have this package 
installed. If this package has not been installed, then Psycho PG2 package will not be installed. So for that, we check if PostgreSQL server dev all package has been installed or not. If not, again, we will install it. Next, we will move to the Python Django project directory. Over there, we will check if virtual environment, so VENV folder exists or not, because over here, I will create virtual environment by the name of VENV. So I will check if this VENV folder exists or not. If not, then I will create a virtual environment by this command virtual, virtual env p python3 venv. Then I will activate it. Finally, I will install required packages through requirement.txt. Once this entire setup has been completed and we have migrated all the changes to the database, finally, we will run the service in the background with the help of noaf command. I have already uploaded this shell script on my GitHub account. Its link is available in the description box. Please check it. So this is how you can write this entire shell script file, which will check all the required components has been installed or not. And if the required components has not been installed, it will install and set up them automatically. Next thing we will need to do is on the machine where we want to deploy this CICD pipeline. So in my case, I have installed Ubuntu Mad operating system on virtual machine on Oracle virtual box. So I will go to my virtual machine over here. As I have uh, told you that we need to provide the password for GitLab runner and not for the system. So first of all, we will set up the password for GitLab runner user. So for that, you need to do this sudo su then password gitlab dash runner so it will ask you for the password okay so this is how i have created the password for the gitlab runner user next is i need to include gitlab runner user in the sudo and root group why this is necessary because to execute few command lines it will be necessary to have GitLab runner user in sudo and root group. Otherwise, it will provide an error. Okay, so for that, you need to write this command sudo user mode dash a g root GitLab runner. So it will include GitLab runner user to the root group. Same way, I need to include GitLab runner user in the sudo group. So I will write sudo over here and yeah. So now we have set up password for GitLab runner user. We have included GitLab runner user to the root and sudo group. Next is to set up GitLab runner password as, a, as an environment variable. So let's do that. So first of all, uh, I have already created an environment variable by the name of password for this GitLab runner user. You can see it over here. You can see that this shell script nan underscore password dot asset. So this shell script contains the password of GitLab runner user. And this is an environment variable which is which will be applicable to the entire system. So for the illustration purpose, I will create a new shell script to showcase you how to create an environment variable which will be applicable to the entire system. So let's do that sudo nano etc profile d and then temp pass dot sh over here i need to write this command line export temp underscore sorry tp tp equal to temp password okay and once i have done this i will close this now it present if I try to fetch the details of that TP environment variable, it will not be available. You can see that it present it does not provide any output. Why? Because yet this shell script, this TP environment variable is not in action. So to put this environment variable in action to make it available to the entire system, we have two ways. One is the temporally and second is permanent so temporary solution is source the 
file pc profile and once it's done if you run the command line again you can see that this environment variable has provided the output the password of the gitlab runner user but this will be the temporary why because once i have closed this terminal and if i am going to open this terminal again and if i am going to uh, run this command line again again i don't have any output from this environment variable so to put it in effect you need to restart the system once you restart the system the environment variable will be available to the entire system and the solution will be the permanent one okay so once we have done all the required processes on the target machine where we want to deploy the ci cd pipeline now we will push the code to gitlab repository and see how it is being executed so let's do that okay so once we have pushed the code to gitlab repository let's see that how it is being executed so i need to go to over here ci cd pipelines and you can see that this ci cd pipeline is being executed and uh, as we have seen earlier that uh, we have two stages we have two jobs that needs to be executed one was test underscore stage job which already has been successfully executed and another job was deployment underscore stage so it is being executed and you can see that it has been successfully executed so let's see that okay so job succeeded you can see the result over here and what are the steps it has taken and you can see that this tag linux os so this is the gitlab runner through which we want to deploy our ci cd pipeline and let's go to the target machine over here and open the browser So you can see that the Django project has been successfully deployed and set up on the target machine and it's running. No pools are available. So uh, like I have just used a very minimal uh, Django application just to showcase you how can you write a cell script which will be helpful to do everything automatically without any manual intervention. Just to bring one thing to your uh, notice that uh, I have already executed this CI/CD pipeline uh, two to three times earlier as well, and hence it's showing root user exist, database exist, user exist, uh, because I want to make sure that uh, the cell script working as expected, as well as uh, CI/CD pipeline must be executed as expected, and hence uh, I have to run this CI/CD pipeline several times. So hence everything exists at present. Otherwise, earlier it was not there, and this CI/CD pipeline has installed them. So just to uh, give you a, a small idea, you know, over here you can check that you can see that this root DB created, root user created, database created, user created. So uh, the cell script has worked actually, and it has installed all the required components. But unfortunately, later time the CI/CD pipeline has failed, and I need to execute it again and again to make it error free to make it executable and to make it uh, to provide expected result so this is how uh, you can write a cell script file which will check each and every component and do all the necessary steps without any manual intervention and everything will be uh, automatic so that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video